so i know a lot of parents are actually happy that schools are finally resumed do you know what that long break does to a lot of parents between july august before schools resume maybe sometimes first week of october um, september and most times second week of september now almost all the schools in ghana if not all the schools are finally resumed and i wanted to talk about the school system because during the covid or after covid you know it's actually changed the school calendar in ghana sort of like schools are usually resume from september and they close usually in july for an academic section actually had to change it now from january to december now i recently found out that not all schools are actually operating that and it was so relieving for me because i wanted a situation whereby the kids are going to be doing you know the same thing as it's done in nigeria so that in case of anything if you're going to be going back anytime they are not lagging behind in anything yes and that's what i want to talk about <laughs> now the primary school system is almost the same they have the british curriculum they have the um, um cambridge you know they have the, this cambridge curriculum thing and they actually do the same thing here and i found out that most of the schools who run the cambridge curriculum are starting a new academic section for example most schools in ghana right now like i say because of the covid Thing that happened you know and after covid a lot of them couldn't go back to the normal section maybe probably that was what they wanted i'm not too sure about that but now i can realize that a lot of schools still run in cambridge because so they may probably had to compress some of their terms to adjust they had to adjust a lot of things so that they could still resume back the normal school calendar i don't know if you understand that so what's school like being for my kids i know a lot of you want to hear them talk again trust me the system has been very very good i love the fact that this language thing is inculcated into the children do you understand because currently my son can say it some things in ga because they were taught that in school like a whole academic session they were being taught they had a teacher who was teaching them that i remember then when i used to be in lagos you know schools in lagos also do the same thing you must learn a local dialect but i don't know how consistent they are with that right now in lagos yes i'm sure they might still be doing it but when i was living in portaco trust me a lot of schools were not doing it a lot of schools were not doing it because in the south south area of nigeria we have too many languages at the same time but when you are in a state that has one you know one, one majorly spoken language it's always easier for them to now niche down on a particular language to speak so in the environment where we are here ga happens to be the language my kids were taught in school and i've you know we've done videos in time past when they actually showed you all that so a new academic session has started and you guys are going to be seeing more things from them and you know it's just been fun it's been fun actually it's a new academic session for them so they, are, they actually went to a new class and i want to see how it's going to be like for them it's like almost two years now they are almost two years in ghana you know using ghana curriculum and everything i thought it was going to be hard kind of for them yes but it wasn't really too hard for them they were able to like quickly adjust yes so they were able to adjust you know but of course you know somehow somehow children are it's not too good to keep changing and changing certain things for them so in ghana school system they have the primary one to primary six and trust me it's kind of compulsory here in fact primary one has to be like six seven years i remember my second son was having issues they almost didn't want to take him in this class because they felt that age was too you know it was too small for the age i'm like are we doing by age because already in nigeria it was in this particular class and he had to like you know trying to adjust or trying to do certain things here away a little bit somehow i don't know if you understand so now the system is you even have to do primary six right here in ghana it's in nigeria we do primary five and you can move to the jss we call it jss in nigeria but here it's called jhs that's junior high school why we call it junior secondary school but they are almost the same because i have come to realize that when it comes to curriculum mode of teaching 
and all almost everything is like the same in the primary is in the tertiary that might be a little bit different though now like we have more private schools now right it's the same thing here we i think they do more private schools here too than the government schools of course government are always subsidized but a lot of people always prevent, prefer to do the private so but for the primary and secondary it's like i noticed that it's almost the same thing and there was something that they do or there's something they do here they feed children in school most of the schools in nigeria we don't do that like children come with their food with their lunch bag and everything but here in ghana there are schools that make it very compulsory very 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 compulsory for them to feed the children and there are some that it's optional yes some schools are optional while most schools not just some a lot of schools actually say they want to feed the kids and i've tried to ask questions like why are they doing it they just tell me that it's their rule like it's an it's actually normal for a lot of parents here because and a lot of parents are very comfortable with it because isn't them a lot of things like they are just like you know i'm breaking my head to go and make money then school just sort a lot of these things out for me and most of them are comfortable with it you know but to an extent i'm not comfortable not too comfortable with it first of all because not all uh, Ghanaian dish my children are not too comfortable with all Ghanaian dishes do you guess what i'm just comfortable doing it myself or i'm gradually not like you don't eat at all in school i allow them to eat in school sometimes you know but yeah all right so what else school fees what's the fees like in ghana yes this uh, varies based on your location based on where you're staying in ghana of course because i'm going to narrow it down to accra is because it's accra and no school fees here actually vary still on your location here in accra there are places you can stay like outskirts areas in accra outskirts I don't think their school fees should be more than 2,000 cities. But if you're staying in Accra, in fact, Cambridge curriculum, schools that do this Cambridge curriculum thing, trust me, their fees are very high. Very, very, very high. You know, you can get as much as 7,000 cities, 8,000, 10,000, 15,000 cities. And you can also see, school, you can also see schools of 3,000, 5,000 and all that. So it depends on what you want. It depends on your location it depends on your preference so i can't really put it down that this is the exact amount of school fees right but when you come whichever is comfortable for you but of course your location also matters there are still areas in this accra maybe in tema and all that that you can get very affordable maybe one five two thousand fees and trust me you can get as much as ten thousand cds so guys i hope this video has been helpful it's a new school section for parents. I know a lot of parents are actually happy right now. Like, I'm going to be resting a little bit. But for me, because I want them to, I help them with their homework. I help them with a lot of things. So, I help to dress them up in the morning. In as much as, yes, they take responsibilities for a lot of things themselves. But you still need to be involved in their day-to-day -day life, right? So, guys, that's it for, for now. I'll be coming up with more videos as time goes by. Bye.